Hi guys, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Let's wait uh, for a couple of minutes or two minutes uh, to I'm just joining now. Can we start the meeting, uh, the session, Amir? Yes, please go ahead and start, uh, Mohamed. Okay. So let's start. First, we will talk about uh, today. We will talk about uh, Commerce Cloud Einstein feature uh, powered by Salesforce. Um, we will focus uh, on uh, overview uh, overviewing uh, about uh, Einstein, how it collects data from different sources, and we will uh, uh, specifically focus on uh, product recommendation, implementation, and validation, okay? So let's start. Uh, Commerce Cloud Einstein uh, uh, provides an um, uh, AI-powered uh, ma merchandising uh, tools to deliver a, smart, uh, a smarter experience for, for the shippers. Okay, C uh, Commerce Cloud Einstein uses a machine learning model to uh, analyze uh, the collected data from uh, the Shiver activities. Einstein provides a uh, different type of uh, features like Einstein product recommendations, SS recommendations, and the predictive uh, sorts. How Einstein gathers the data? Einstein gathers data uh, and uses data for, uh, from three sources, uh, from catalog feeds, order feeds, and real-time clickstream events, like uh, product view, uh, add to cart events, finish checkout view recommendation events. Uh, we can, um, we, we can uh, uh, regarding regarding uh, catalog and uh, order fees. You, you should uh, enable. You should uh, configure and run uh, the catalog fields and order fields only on production instance. Um, if if the real time tracking uh, is disabled uh, is disabled uh, on uh, the BM. Then some of uh, Einstein features will not uh, working uh, correctly, uh, like uh, recently viewed uh, recommendations and uh, real-time personalized recommendations. We will take uh, these features. We will uh, talk about uh, these features uh, uh, in this uh, in this session. In this session. Regarding the catalog and order feeds, we need to configure these from uh, administration, uh, operations, Einstein status dashboard. Remember, you we, we, we need to configure this only on production, like this. You will see in the dashboard, Einstein dashboard, the site ID, uh, that you will enable uh, Einstein on it. And uh, some of uh, configurations you need to do here, like uh, scheduling and enabling uh, uh, the feeds. To enable real-time tracking in Business Manager, you should uh, 
you should head to uh, merchant tools, set preference privacy settings. You should enable, as you can see here in the screenshot, you should enable tracking. And you should uh, also You should also uh, uh, you should also uh, choose uh, the option of uh, click stream. If you if you select no, then uh, this means click stream events are collected uh, regardless the session uh, do not track status. Uh, uh, if you if you select yes, it depends on the storefront. Uh, do not start do not track this uh, session uh, status. If session do not uh, track, uh, uh, if the shipper selects uh, do not track um, session, then no click stream events are collected. That's all regarding gathering data. Any question here? Okay, let's continue. Commerce Cloud I understand product, uh, product recommendations. Provide the personalized uh, product recommendations based on uh, Shiba's activities. The Merge team is responsible for creating and uh, managing uh, recommenders and assigning algorithms that predict the most relevant uh, products to promote to individual uh, shippers using configurator tools. We have uh, two types of uh, product recommendations, explicit recommendations and implicit, uh, implicit recommendations. We will focus on uh, implicit recommendations in, the, in this session. But regarding uh, explicit recommendation, uh, explicit, explicit recommendations associate a specific product with its recommended products. The Merge team uses Business Manager to configure explicit recommendations for uh, an example address and uh, bracelet uh, configured as recommended for uh, as recommended products for. Uh, Zerik uh, shoes, as you can see here. And uh, you might uh, like uh, area. You can find find the dress uh, product and bracelet uh, product as a recommended product for uh, this product. Uh, for implicit recommendations, Einstein dynamically generates recommendations using live data from uh, from shipper activities and uh, shared database between merchants. Implicit recommendations uh, appear on uh, storefront pages using uh, content slots, like this screenshot. Product recommendations as a carousel. To configure uh, explicit recommendation, uh, explicit uh, recommended, uh, recommended products in Business Manager, uh, which is uh, a role of uh, merge team, not developer team, uh, you, you must head to Merchant Tools, Products and Catalogs, then uh, to specific product. And under uh, Recommendation section, you can assign many products as a recommended products for a specific product. Okay, implicit recommendations uses content slots, as we mentioned before. Please note that product recommendations are, are dynamic. So you need to 
make sure that the entire slot is not cached. Otherwise, every visitor will uh, will see the same recommendation uh, on the browser, on his browser. We will focus uh, on uh, the implicit recommendation as we told. Okay. When when the client uh, requested from you to add uh, implicit recommendation for a specific page, first you need to add a content slot in that page by adding is a slot tag to the target ICML. Uh, the the slots also need uh, rendering template to render the recommended products. Then you need to configure content slots in Business Manager. This slot must include a reference to the referring product and or uh, category as part of the context object attribute. For an example, in BDB, we need to pass product uh, product object uh, in the context object. The same thing we need to uh, the same thing the same thing for category. We need also to pass category uh, object um, in the uh, context object. You can pass a product uh, object or a collection of a product uh, of products with a, with a size up to five products in the collection, or a category object to the context object attribute based on a recommendation type. Note. If we, if you uh, add the slot in category landing page, define the context as category. Otherwise, use global, uh, a global as a context, like in BDB. Also, you need you you need to create a new rendering template for the defined slot to render the recommended products. Just like other rendering templates, uh, like the one we use uh, for uh, displaying uh, for displaying products in uh, Carousel, make sure to add uh, as object with a view uh, recommendation in the rendering template. Okay, after adding a uh, slot tag, a new, a new slot will appear in Business Manager with the defined ID for that slot. Uh, we need to enable a slot and select recommendation as, uh, as a content type. Recommenders the field will appear The recommender should be uh, pre-configured from the configurator tool. If it is not uh, configured, it will not uh, it will not uh, appear in uh, business manager. Most commonly recommended uh, recommenders uh, types. Uh, product to product uh, recommender type. It is used in uh, B2B, BDB. It recommends uh, similar uh, or related uh, products. And it, uh, it is uh, mostly used in uh, a product detail page, in cart page, in mini cart, wish list, check out pages. We also have uh, another recommenders which is products in all products in all categories. It recommends products from all categories. And it 
uh, and it, this is used uh, with uh, with category page. Also, we have uh, products in a category. It recommends products in the same category. Also, it's used then category page. Recently viewed uh, recommender. It recommends recently viewed products. It uh, can be used in any page. Uh, complete the set recommender. Recommend complementary products for apparel sets. It's used in uh, BDB and card pairs. After you select and uh, recommender, then you need to select the rendering template we created in the previous steps. The previous step. And finally, you should uh, schedule this slot. Any question? Okay. For testing purposes, we need to install uh, the Commerce Cloud Recommendations Validator, which is a Chrome extension to validate and debug Einstein product recommendations. When the shopper navigates to a site that uses um, Einstein features, it instantly validates recommendation activities. If recommendations uh, are enabled on a page and working correctly, you will see the view reco is okay in the uh, validator dashboard. If uh, view recommendation uh, not firing, make sure that you use is object uh, tag in, uh, in your rendering template. Any question? That's all guys. This was a short uh, session regarding recommended uh, recommendation uh, product. Thank you very much, um, uh, Mohanad. Do you guys have any question? Good. So Mohanad, please share the recordings once it's ready. Um, and we'll make sure it's uploaded and shared with the team. Thank you very much. Welcome.